in here. So that is for the X. That is for the XP lane. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not exactly sure how sold. that matchup is gonna be. I'm not super sold on it either. Like, I mean, yes, I guess against the Khalid once he gets level four, there's some possibilities there. But here's the thing. I, and also, it can target the Ruby. The thing is, Ruby wants you to jump in on it. Ruby's True. like, all right, come on. And then I just click my sorry and I my second skill, and boom, you're locked up in the midst of us all. You know what this does really well, though? What? It answers the Chidera problem, the Kadera problem, right? You, you demonic down. force towards him. You put the pressure on him so that because last time it was the uh, it was the Terizla, and when you jumped in with the penalty zone, then you couldn't catch him. You're you know you're left as a sitting duck. So, and maybe this time that's the answer here to deal with. Jadera's movement. Well, when we're talking about game fam, we have the solution, we have the answer. Flap Teasy, are you going to be the one, the problem for Kadera? Or will Kadera be having all of these free shots all over the game? Welcome to the third match in this best of five series. Welcome to the Land of Dawn. Geek fam, equalize it. Which team is going to go and have the match point? All right, so when I look at both teams and I'm thinking about any of the win cons and I see AP Bren, now that they've kind of finished off their draft with that Fovius, the Fovius isn't bad exactly, but when it will really come online is going to be in the late game. Same thing with Super Marco. So I think overall, trying to buy time, AP Bren, Geek Fam have this wonderful mid game spike with Luke, Chidera, a boy, a great level four with Boloyski. I mean, just lots of possibilities. And in this laning phase, Luke is definitely going to dom dominate Flap Teasy. Um, again, I really want to see this matchup because, you know, it could be something that just because we haven't seen doesn't mean it's bad, right? Like, maybe because Luke using that first kill is going to dash all the time and then maybe... Once level, level 4 comes. Yeah, once level 4, maybe Flap Teasy can do something. It's just something that I'm not familiar with. In fact... I, I think in this M series we might see more Fovius in the mid than the EXP. Yeah, not typical to see him in the XP lane for now, but at least from what we've seen, and even looking at the emblems here, anything sticking out? All the movement speed yeah. on the side of AP Bren. Even Fovius has it, because yeah. they know once mid-late game comes, he's going to need to move around. Also, he needs to be able to keep up with Khalid when Khalid tries to rotate into the mid side, when Khalid tries to go and help the team out. Okay, they're going to drag Marky back here. Boloyski there to help him out. Doesn't have the level 40 yet, so just going to disengage as both teams get prepped and ready for this turtle in just a couple seconds. That's kind of like a passive for this uh, Khalid where you don't have to waste one mm. slot for that movement speed. Exactly. So that's actually an interesting point. Khalid has basically oh. four. Well, already a lot of just poke back and forth. Speaking of Khalid, Luke's got the level 4 now, so he's going to join this front line here for Geek Mark. Marky has to get a position as well for this if they want to contest it, but it's going to be driven back with the Demonic Force from Flap. That's exactly what they want to do here. Luke, not sure if he wants to take a chance at all on this. It would be better if they just give up this first turtle to AP Bren. It's exactly what happens as Kyle Teasy walks away, secures the objective. Well, we saw the usefulness of Flap Teasy on this movie. Oh. The oh, okay, I'm sorry. How dare you? There's the punishment. It's like, it's our job. It's, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> don't think there's going to be any answer from AP Bren. So essentially, yeah, they get the objective, but first blood in the hands of Luke, who once again had that MVP perform performance on the same hero from the previous game. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's exactly what you want with the Kalita. Now Marky already shoving into this orange buff, going to be able to take it, and that's going to be taking so much away from the hands of Kyle Teasy. Yep, Circle Eagle going to be used. Focus now on the top Ooh. side. We'll see if AP Bren responds to this. Once again, Super Marco dealing oh. with everything right now. Heavy spin. Pops the Purify, though. We'll be able to get out just fine because of that Purify. I like the timing. The moment he has the Haas Claw, they all went for it. Oh, Luke oh. going to be in trouble this time. Tries to get away. There it is. Kyle Teasy gets the kill. So they answer back to Luke on the bottom side. Now back to the top. Ogwin and Super Marco just being forced out of this lane. A lot of gold, a lot of pressure here going to the hands of Geek Fam up to Kadera as he works on that turret. Yeah, it's very nice as well that Kadera does not try to take down the turret as fast as he can because he wants those minions to die. Like, winning isn't enough. You want your opposing leader to lose. I like that kind of mentality. It's not enough for me to win. Yep. I want to see you lose. And that little, those little movements have already given him a 600 gold lead. Putting him, oh, oh boy, in trouble here. 
I already used that black shoes. Beloisky now a little bit late. Should be able to slide on through, but is going to be stopped as Kyle Tizzi gets the kill there. Now AP Bren, their sights on this purple buff, trying to make it hard for him to get. Marky though, still going to be battling now. The Fraser's Wrath going to come down. Heavy spin going to be used. He takes a couple shots from Kadera. Goes under the turret. Marky quite low. Has to use the Nether Realm. Still going to be battling out. Luke now focusing on Kyle Teezy. Forcing him back as both teams battle it out until the turtle comes up. As we take a quick break here. Hey, you know what? It's fine. Because we got to talk about how tanky this Frederick is. Much different than the Martiz in the previous game where the Martiz has more damage but lacks that, that front line capability. So... Quite a big difference now that Kyle Tizzi is on this Frederick where he can absorb much more and gives a lot of time for his uh, damage dealers to dish out the damage. Not only that, but we've already seen Fovius have the turnaround, start to have the advantage over Luke going against that, able to proc the demonic force and everything. Even when, even like, Luke has said, like, can I even use my Raging Sandstorm to try to run away? Because once you do, you proc it once again, and he doesn't really have, um, you know, enough dashes to escape to like you know kind of trick the Fovius and move away right before the animation happens. Fovius has an interesting passive. You know what it is? What is it? Play around me and you still lose. All it's like around. imagine trying not to dash when you're you're fighting. You're forcing yourself in a bad position so the Fovius gives it's like a fake question. Where no matter what happens, what you is lose. a fake question. You know, it's, it's like, like you know, mess around and find out. No, it's like it's like a what? What, what do you call it? It's I like, can't even think of a fake question that I've ever it's asked. It's not a fake. It's like how do I? You know those uh, tricky, tricky questions? Not tricky. Okay. Tricky disco. Basically, when I ask you a question, yeah. there's no right answer. Okay, ask me a, ask me one of those. What number am I holding up behind my back? But, but your hands don't. A trick your hands question. Are, yeah, but my hands will keep on moving. Question. So, so yeah, it's a, a trick, trick question. question. Yeah, I just said so. A trick question, and you said no. Nah, you're there's, doing great. There's a different nah, word. Fam. There's a different word for it. All but right. basically, it's like if you if you guys dash, I'm gonna dunk on you. Uh -huh. If you guys don't dash, I don't need to dunk on you because all of my friends are gonna dunk on you. You get what I'm saying? I'm just going to agree. Yeah. Because we're jumping back in. What is yes. that called again? A fake question. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Ultimatum. <laughs> Ultimatum's not it either. No, it's not it. All right, okay. Someone, someone try to help me out. I'm sorry. Uh, so, it's so, not it. Someone type whatever LaFell's trying to think of as yeah. they battle it out for the turtle here. It looks like it's just going to be AP Brendel once again as they secure the second turtle of the game here, uncontested for the most part. Geek Fam not still ahead though, so. They have the opportunity to give up that turtle. Yes, this puts AP Bren in a nice tight spot, but we definitely um, can't count Geek Fam out just because of a few objectives being lost. They've taken that top tower to Jared is at the bottom lane, smashing down on that one, and that is their win con right now. Tadera just doing so well, hasn't taken a single death. Same thing with a boy, and those are two of their major damage dealers here. Yeah, looking at the goal earned as well, Skadera definitely has a very clear. Uh, what to say clear? It's only like 200 advantage ish, so I'll take it back. It's, it's basically non consequential here. Beloisky, Kyle Kizzy is having a fun time dishing the damage against Beloisky, and not enough damage there. I love how he continues to use that appraiser's wrath, right? With pretty much just on the go, forcing anything he can from Geek Fam, and that's kind of what you want to do, and maybe the reason why, you know, they went with this Frederick pick. Aside from it being quite tanky, he's going to get zoned off, though, with a heavy spin. Slides on through, though, with finesse. Ogwin goes in with the Circle and Eagle, but ultimately they just push Geek Fam back further away from the team here. All right, here comes Flap Teasy, though. We haven't really seen him get involved in a lot of these, like, full-on team fights yet. I'm excited to see how AP Bren's composition works with that kind of spice added to it. Right now, Luke trying to protect the four members of AB Brand here. Luke gets pulled. Luke's going to get pulled. He's going to get dunked on. Oh. Goes in, flickers out. Not going to be enough as Few cleans up the kill there. They'll get the turret as well here. On the bottom side, continue to work on for AP Brent. Something that we have to say about the draft coming in from AP Brent, the Claude can be left alone. The Claude can be left on, on an island, and he can push all, all day. The rest of AP Brand, they can move as a, as a team. And it's going to be enough damage just because the Faramis is going to build into a Lightning Truncheon. And Geek Fam, if they want to clump up together, they're just going to give more damage to this Faramis. 
We also have to point out that with Flap Tz moving, ooh, wait oh. a second. Okay, Flap Tz going to be focused a little bit here. Doesn't have the demonic force just yet, so still Turtle going to be bought for Count Tz and Marky. The battle for it once again. Going now, committing to it. Heavy spin going to find the lockdown. Turtle going to be secured by Kyle Tz. Now they turn their sights on Marky. He's going to be just taken care of all by himself. As Marquis taken out, Beloisky survived, but Luke and Kadera will be doing work across the map. This is something Geek have been doing very well, though. Even if they look like they don't expend everybody onto these objectives. They know that AP Bren wants to do that. They want to send all five members for the turtle. But while they're doing that, they have Luke in the mid side oh. taking a tower. They have Chadera up to. Ooh. So they actually want to fight this. Once again, Kyle Tz is so tanky here. Oakwood has to flicker around. Beloisky quite low as well. Still going to be going though. Flap Tz now joined the fight. Few making his way there as well. And they keep them at bay. Geek Fam realizes it and they back off. You know what's good about our system now? Yes. We have three casters. Mm -hmm. We can see and we can look at different parts of the map because that's what these teams are doing. You see one fight here, someone's pushing it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still like, like Super Marco in that bot lane. Yeah, that's what he likes to do. Again, this is this is a signature pick for Super Marco, right? He's done work on this, and a lot of the times, if you just leave him alone, like LaFell was saying earlier. It, it, it scales out of hand, and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, that bleeds into it hurts. This looks like a magic trick, where you have the left hand showing beautiful colors, yeah. and then the right hand takes your watch. Mm -hmm. And then there's a trick question. No, no, it's, no, it's, no. It's like Geekman and AP Brand, they're, they're doing the same thing. It's like, hey, we're fighting now. And then all of a sudden, your turn is gone. So is it both gold laners? Because it's Kadari uh, and Luke doing the yeah, same thing. Yeah, they are both trying to do it. But right say, now, yeah. Super Marco's doing a little better, I think. Yeah, I would say for AP Brand, is more on the gold laner. For Geek Fam, they got Luke as well as Kadari. Yeah, because essentially, both of them have three turrets down, right? So in a way, how long or who, who can pull it off longer, right? Until eventually, it all collapses. Because that's kind of what's happening right now, even with that reference, you know? And, and this leads into these objectives now that the Lord is up. Lord Conceal. is up. Oh, Conceal can play. Beloisky jumping in alongside Marky. A boy and Luke gonna be caught too. Marky has to get out of there. Ogwin gonna whittle him down a little bit more now. A boy trapped amongst oh. it all. Get taken out by few. And this is gonna be the go signal for AP Brand to start up the Lord. Well, I guess to answer your question, it looks like AP Brand is more willing to take those prolonged team fight because having the fair miss as well as the um, even though we question this Phobius pick, he has been doing quite well to deny a lot of the gauges coming in from Geek Fam. It's been denying so much. And it's and I, I was a little like, oh, why is he, he can only really zone away Beloisky or Luke? But even that is making a huge impact on these team fights. Beloisky not being able to get involved means Kyle TZ can pretty much just do what, I, what he wants. It means Super Mario can roam freely around these team fights or do exactly whatever he wants as well. Now taking a look at some of the items. Super Marco has jumped from, you know, being stalemated to almost a 2k gold lead over to Dara right now. He's pretty much into working on his last item at this point. Yeah, right now it looks like every brand can just push in. For Geek Fam, I feel like in order for them to win is trying to force a 5v5 fight and bait out some of the skills, uh, especially Flap. But I, I don't know, so far the way Flap has been playing, uh, even though he's getting caught, it doesn't look, it look like he's all, any time in trouble. Well, is he going to get dragged back by the Stampede? Takes it quite a bit of damage himself. He might just have to give up this Tier 2 as AP Bren still looks for these plays. Lord now going down the bottom side. They might be knocking on the base of Geek Fam here relatively soon. Shield's still up, though. She'll be able to make quick work of it. As Geek Fam goes on the defense, Oakwin keeping them at bay as well. But ultimately, nothing happening just yet. All right, Geek Fam going to be able to defend this, and I think... Yes, they're going to lose that mid-tier two. They lose a lot here. The go Ooh. gold lead is starting to escape them a bit. Oh, they're going to jump in. Flap Tz goes in with a demonic force, but they're going to have to go out, but they're happy with the turret. So still on the play, AP Bren gets the first base turret of Geek Fam. The conversation now is what Geek Fam has to do, because just to expand a little bit about what I was saying before, is like try to trick AP Bren into, th into thinking they're going for a 5v5. Try to bait out a lot of those skills like the Nether Realm as well as the Demonic Force from Fab Easy, but doesn't look like AP Brand is gonna take any kind of bait here. I love the fact that Flap Teasy builds Clock of Destiny up front. 
because um, we've been talking so much about EXP laners need a little bit of damage, and that's not that wasn't always common for a Phobie spell. A lot of times you just kind of go into full defense mode, and the damage just unloads over time anyways, because he that's just kind of how he works, right? But with that, he's able to really be a threat to some of these tankier heroes like Bloiski. He's just able to have that little bit extra, and that's going to scale along with him over time. And at this point, I feel like it's kind of all he needs. I'm looking at everyone from AP Brand, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I'm Bloiski, who's a great target for me to pick off? I mean, sure, if you can get most of the members at the same time, maybe that's good, but if you pull in the Fulvius, that will feel like a mistake. Mm. If you pull in the... Uh, the uh, easy? Yeah, if you pull in Kyle Teasy, you feel like that's a mistake as well. If you pull in oh. Q, that's wow. a mistake. Wow! Super Marco! Not even given a chance to Jadera. Still now Luke gonna be trying to get back to base here. Demonic Force gonna be used and everything thrown at him. Super Marco just fully stacked. Knew that it was his opportunity and takes out Kadera. I'm wondering if maybe Marky should have used that heavy spin a little bit earlier. I feel like he was hanging on to it and maybe possibly, you know, use it for a dire situation. But they do get out. Chidera goes down, though, and that's going to be a huge loss because Super Mario already had a big goal lead, and this is just going to make Chidera not be able to catch up with him even faster. I mean, if this keeps on continuing, AP Brand will have match point because Geek Fam, again, I'm, I'm looking at, at the draft. They have enough damage. I just don't know who they should focus it on because I don't think that Super Mario is going get, to get caught anytime soon. Yeah, it's so difficult to, to catch him, right? I mean, alongside the fact that they have Matilda to help with those escapes, and that's what we've been seeing here. So now, once again, AP Bren gets ready for this assault towards Geek Fam's base. All right, Geek Fam, I mean, at this point, how do they defend this, right? They have some possibilities. They have Luke who can make the big set. They have Beloisky who can make the big set. But they have, like you mentioned, LaFell, they have to be careful who they pull in. A boy... We haven't seen too much from Boy right now. It should, I mean, theoretically be doing okay against Kylo Teasy, but I think with a gold lead like this, they just have too many defensive items, and it's going to take a little bit longer until Geek Fam can actually, like, slow them down at all. Well, they're going to work on the base. Top turret going to be gone. Lord making its way down the bottom. Geek Fam has to respond to this. Kyle Teasy going to keep them at bay. Still, Boloiski trying to keep things clear. Okay. Flap Teasy, though. Just gets taken out of the picture. Still, oh. Kyle Teasy going to get dragged now, too. He could be in trouble as he has to flick around. Oakwin and the rest of the team there. Marky has to heavy spin out. The oh, battle Luke? in the jungle. Luke, though, goes in with a raging sandstorm. He has to go, but he can't heal up half oh. enough. As a body after body will fall for Geek Fam. And Marky, the last one to go. AP Bren wipes out Geek Fam as they make their way to the crystal to take the series to a two to one. AP Bread, right now, match point with this two to one. AP Bread, 